Oh, this is not good. I want some rest. Are we having fun yet? All right, guys. So we're talking about Shaden Sharp, and I have to say this is not looking too pretty for him. So we already discussed this previously, um, but NBA execs aren't sold on Shaden Sharp. Now, this guy... This is going to kind of feel like a continuation of another video I did in which I said Shane Sharp is starting to scare me. And I gave some reasons why I wasn't 100% sold on Shane Sharp anymore. But we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's go straight into this article and then we'll just go ahead and give our thoughts on it. So whew, this ain't good. Show me where the five star ish is. So as we can see here, we'll go straight to the quote. A Western Conference executive told the Athletics David Aldridge of Sharp. How the F can you be the fifth pick in the draft if you haven't played in a year and a half? It's not like it's James Wiseman and the guy is seven feet tall. Show me where the five star ish is. Show me. This kid, we have nothing but YouTube videos to go on. I think you are just taking an absolute swing and you have to have ownership completely behind you in that swing as well as your head coach and that staff. You got to be patient and you better have a plan and everybody's on board. So I... I agree to this to an extent. Now, first and foremost, let's play devil's advocate, okay? Let's just play devil's advocate before we get into this. Let's just say all this is BS, okay? Let's just say that the exec, it says it's a Western Conference exec. Let's just say it's the Blazers, Pelicans, or Spurs, okay? And they're just trying to mess up his stock a little bit so he can fall. Like, that—that that is a possibility. That's happened before, okay? These, these teams will do anything possible to get their guy. So if any of these teams are, you know, interested in them, that's a good way of trying to kick him down a pig, okay? So that that is something that has happened. That is something that's possible. And that's just my, you know, devil's advocate right there. But me personally, I don't necessarily think that's the case. I think that there's a lot of truth to this. So we talked about this before, like I said, in which I was just not 100% or 120% sold like I was before. And now I'm more so in the 80s, 70s to 80s range as far as how confident I am that he's he's gonna do well um so we talked about this but i'll talk about it again i don't like the fact that he didn't show it show up at the combine now a lot of people will talk about how players that are top picks like top three top five picks oftentimes don't do anything at the combine and rightfully so they don't want to injure themselves they don't want to mess up their stock i understand that they but but the problem here is a lot of times these players have already shown what they got and while i like Shaden sharp he's not like a lebron james where you just know absolutely you just know he is going to be a he's not like that and, and it's one of those things where we see the talent in clips but at the same time i mean there's plenty of ballers that can give you some clips there's plenty of ballers that were great in high school and it's not just enough for you to sit here and just say okay this is enough for me to spend my lottery pick on because this a lot of times with these ex, these execs man with these these guys that pick these picks they don't want to lose their job and it's a, it is really easy to lose your job with enough bad picks so you want to make sure that you're making the smartest pick imaginable but with that being said i don't i just don't know how i feel about this now i will say this it could very well just been his agent saying yes not do it you know we don't want to hurt your stock or anything like that but then i also question a few things okay i, I question him um is, is this showing a lack of confidence is he afraid that if he's shown that he's not as good against these guys that it will hurt his stock you know i do question that because i don't do that with the other guys only because they have shown something already um but with him i do question that like are you afraid that it's going to hurt your stock do you think that you won't be able to show anything because he did nothing at the combine and, and that's that's troublesome okay um and also i question this is it a sign of arrogance for you to think that you don't have to that you're just in the same category as all these other guys i don't know now i'm not going to go and just put those labels 100 percent on him because i i don't i don't know he seems like a really cool kid he seems laid back he seems he seems like a nice kid but at the same time i think that this is just a really bad look it's, it's just not a great look right now um now i will say this he has been in communication with other nba players from what i've heard so i mean it's not like he's just a complete shell but at the same time man it's you got to show something you got to show something and one thing that's very telling to me is this quote in particular when he said that look 
Everyone has to be on board. Ownership has to be on board. Coaching staff has to be on board. Everyone has to be on board with the pick that you take, especially in the lottery. And I just don't know if every single person in in that office is going to be on board with Shaden Sharp. I just don't know. I don't know. Um, but as it stands right now, it looks like his stock is falling. And this could very well, like I said, be a ploy just to make his stock fall. But I think it's pretty legit. Um, I because I, maybe it's just because I'm starting to agree with it, but I don't know. So you guys, let me know what you think. Um, I'm not a hundred percent like not sold on Sharp. Like I still like Sharp. I think that he has a lot of talent there. But man, if, if you got some of these players available, I mean, do you take Shaden Sharp over Dyson Daniels? I don't even know. I don't even know anymore. I don't know. So you guys, let me know what you think. Um, I'll give it to you later. If you want to support the channel, only two dollars per month. Um, Patreon YouTube members link in the description. So uh, thanks for all the love until next time Deuces.